I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe. External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar minces no words when it comes to talking straight on different issues. There are many instances where he was direct in his approach, whether it's world politics or domestic politics, an international forum or inside parliament, his answers are blunt and direct. Here are five examples where S. Jashankar didn't hold back. Uh, Foreign Minister Wangi and I have been in touch with each other over the last two years, even if we have not visited each other's country. We met in Moscow in September 2020 and then again in Dushanbe in July and September 2021. We have uh, had telephonic conversations during this period. And the focus of these interactions have naturally been on the situation in our border areas. Our meeting had led to an understanding on disengagement and de-escalation. Uh, the challenge, of course, has been to implement it on the ground. Uh, we've had 15 rounds of talks between senior commanders and progress has been achieved on several friction points from the disengagement perspective. This needs to be taken forward since the completion of disengagement is necessary for discussions on de-escalation to take place. I would describe our current situation as work in progress, obviously at a slower pace than desirable. You know, it's interesting uh, because we've seen for some time uh, what looks almost like a campaign on this issue. Now, I was just reading a report today that in the month of March, Europe has bought, I think, 15% more oil and gas uh, from Russia than it did the month before. Uh, if you look at the major uh, buyers of oil and gas from Russia, I think you'd find most of them are in Europe. We ourselves get the bulk of our uh, energy supplies from the Middle East, uh, about 7.5%, 8% of our oil from the US. Uh, in the past, maybe less than a percent from Russia. When oil prices go up, I think it's natural for countries to go out into the market and look for what are good deals for their people. But I am pretty sure if we wait two or three months and actually look at who are the big buyers of Russian gas and oil, I suspect the list won't be very different from what it used to be. And I suspect we won't be in the top 10 on that list. Speaker, sir, with your permission, referring to this, because he made a very specific observation, saying our diplomacy is passive. At the same time, he said, but Prime Minister has spoken to Russia and Ukraine only. Russia, Ukraine, who else will he speak to? So he's speaking to the relevant party. Maybe doing the relevant thing may look irrelevant to other people, I don't know. But the, the point I want to make is, we are today in diplomacy very, very focused. In the morning, we had discussed one aspect of our diplomacy. Today, we are looking at a policy and legal issue, which is very pointedly aimed at something else. Uh, if you are looking at energy purchases from Russia, I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe, which probably uh, we do buy some uh, uh, energy, which is necessary for our energy security. But I suspect looking at the figures, Probably uh, our total purchases for the month would be less than what Europe does in an afternoon. So you might want to think about it.